Hi, everybody. Well, here I am with the second part of the Google Maps that I promised a, a little bit earlier in my previous video. And so, what we're going to do this time is go into a Google Map that we have already started. We're going to make a couple of changes to it just to see how that's done, and then customize the map and get it ready to embed either in your web page or in your blog or wherever you like. So first off, off we go to Google and we sign in. So hopefully this will come along quickly. And I, again, I'm going to sign in with my Gmail account. You could be using another Google account, but you'll sign in here. And up will come to Google. And uh, this is the 137th, Harry Houdini's 137th birthday, isn't that cute? So uh, we'll come here to Maps. And in Maps, uh, what will open up will be uh, My Maps. So this will be the next link that you'll click on. And up will come, OK, here's Sandpiper Migration, the one that we were just working on. So Sandpiper Migration will take a moment. That will pop up. And it will come up in the way that you last left it. So this, this one says, oh, we don't have a map for this, so I must have had it go. Now we've got it map. And I'll uh, take it down just a touch so that we can see it. So I've just zoomed back a bit, and I'm happy with it like this. Maybe I'll put it in satellite and see whether we get anything. Yes, we do. Good. OK. So now uh, what I'd like to do is I've got it now in satellite view. There's a raft of other views here. You just move your mouse over, things that you can add on to the map. But this will be good for now. I'm going to go into edit mode. And I'm going to click here on Sandpiper image. And Sandpiper image comes up. It comes up in uh, rich text. So the one that's blacked out is rich text. And we can see that the image is there. It's a little bit bigger than image, I'm thinking. So I'm going to go and edit my HTML. And all I'm going to do in my HTML, so here's my image source. Um, all I'm going to do is add a height. Uh, and I'll add a height of 250 pixels and a width. I hope I spelled that right. I did. Of 192. And I'll save that. Say OK. And I'll save. And I think I might be done. And now I'll check to see what my work looks like. That's a little bit better, easier to see. Good. OK, so now I'm ready. Now I'm ready to uh, prepare this map so that it can be viewed in either a web page or my Google blog or wherever pretty much I like. So the first thing I'm going to do is, what am I going to center on? Well, I'm going to move the mouse to where I want my map to be centered. I'm going to now I'm on a PC, so I'm going to right mouse click, but you can do something similar on the map, on the Macintosh, and I'm going to say center map here. And now, in under this uh, uh, link called link, I'm going to click, and I'm going to go to customize and preview embedded map. So I am going to do a custom. This pops up. You'll see that it's similar to what we're seeing here, a little bit smaller, but I'm going to do a, a custom. And I'm going to say I want the width to be 500 pixels, and I'm going to leave the height at 350. And you'll notice that it's moved to be centered. If I wanted to move this to here, the actual lat and long of the maps would move right down in here in this copy and paste this HTML to embed in your website. And when you're ready with this, all you need to do is come down into here, copy, and then you can paste into wherever you like. This is this is raw HTML. You just paste it into your uh, to your website. So if you're doing lab three, and you want to go for a, a, a bonus mark, this is one really great way to do it. And of course, you can use it if you like on your blog.